Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I will be reviewing the Halo Marks 7 from Halo, from the Halo Infinite line, so there he is, um, there's his head, there's his head, um, my camera's a bit low, so I might see if, um, he's a bit of a shorter figure, so I'm gonna see if, um, if I adjust the camera height, if it'll still show, so, be right back. Well, I guess you could do that. <laughs> Alright, but here he is, um... He's a really nice figure. This is the same, this is the same, this is a figure from the same line as the... Brute Captain, or Craig, as I did a video on, so... Expect some similarities. Um, so there's eight in total to collect, and really this one and the Brute Captain was, were in, or Craig. We're really the only ones that I really wanted to get for some reason. There's Master Chief, a Marine, a Jackal Sniper, and the Pilot. But, oh yeah. So there, I have seen a lot of versions of this guy. It seems to be like this is um, the Mark IV or the Spartan Warrior or something. Like this is pretty much. It seems like this is the Spartan armor that they're gonna go with to like advertise the game because like. So, like, for Halo Combat Evolved, it was the Mark V. Halo 2, it was the Mark IV, I think it was? No. Mark IV. Or Mark III. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't seen any Halo videos in a while. But, like, in Halo 4 and 5, it was, like, the, the Spartan Warriors. Those were the ones. But, yeah. Anyways, going back to this, I really like this. It seems like for this game, they might go back to, like, some Reach vibes or some similarities. Because this, this does remind me of, like, the Noble Six or the Mark V B from Halo Reach, so. so. This is a really nice figure. I was a little bit, um, after I started reviewing this, I was a bit, um, hesitant to buy it. Because I did see someone say that there, that it was a loose head and then. It just popped off. The head does pop off. It is lo a bit loose. But it's still got a great range of movement. And it does stay on. Which I'm thankful for. Because that's what I was hoping. So the head can look up that far. Let's just go over to it. Well, it can just look straight. It really can't look far. Because it's got like right there. Some like, some. It's preventing it from looking down. Looking down though. It's got some nice movement. It can tilt side to side. And all right, we're back. So back articulation. I already covered the head. Arms can go that far. Oh, can bend at the elbow, which is like a little under ninety degrees because of the armor. Wrist can go full three sixty, up and down, but not as much as um, Craig. And you, here is where I was telling you guys about the our. Uh, I guess the armor prohibits it a bit. Well, it's, it's that bit right there prohibits this from going all around. And I just popped his head off. So, yeah. And then he's also got rotation. Well, pretty much he can go. He's got the upper torso. Like, he can ab crunch forward and back if he didn't have the problems. And he can also rotate up here and down at the waist as well. And he can just move him around. Legs can actually go out on him. So that's cool. Go forward that far. Quite a bit. Back that far, not that much due to his butt armor. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, if only I knew how to edit it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would have edited that out. Edit that out. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait a minute. Huh. Huh. Interesting. This right here just like opened. It's like I think I got like extra plastic on a kneecap because if I compare it, it doesn't have as much. And this one's already like scratched. So I might need to file that out. Like maybe cut that off. But you got some legal mumbo jumbo right there. But yeah, he's got double jointed knees. Oh, never mind, never mind. I it 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 got broken. 
it got broken. But I mean, at least it closes up whenever it's like this. And honestly, you're not gonna be staring at him like that unless if it's like the code. Unless you're gonna be doing something like like that, I guess. So, um, well, that's gonna happen on another knee. So uh, it's already happened a little bit. I don't care. I mean, as long as it does that, I guess. Like right now, here, I'll do that. You can see it's doing that and whenever I put it back. It's as if it never happened. You can see the crack, but honestly, it's small. Hopefully, it doesn't get worse all the time. But yeah, he's got. So I guess that's something to be careful about. And then the feet can ankle tilt, and then he can go forward, it can go down, and then it can go up as well. So articulation is pretty nice. Detailing, it's just white and black, and some gold for the visor. There's some detailing right there. Um, most of it is either painted black, or it's just casted in white plastic. I think oh, I was got some gray right there for the shin. So the only thing that are painted white that I found out so far is the belt and the kneecaps, which are like more of an off-white. Just there, right? so yeah. It, for accessories, he includes a plasma carbine. Which you can hold. It was a pain to get in the hand f the first time. So you do that, and you can also make him do hold it with both hands, which is really nice because sometimes that's really hard to do on figures, especially for this size. So, and it's also got a peg on the on it, so you can start on the back. Craig's did not because it was meant for him and not really for the Spartan. So you can do that. If you want, I haven't stored, so I'll just leave that for now. He also came with a game code. This time, I'm not gonna return. Sh I'm, I'm not gonna return. I'm not gonna show. Turn it. Oh, turn it around like last video, because otherwise, I almost exploded the code. And he comes with the same exact base plate, so you can just plop Timmy here. You could just do that. So yeah, that's really cool. And that's about it. Like. I really like this figure, and it's a bummer, I just noticed about the shin, so... I mean... I can slightly really only bend it, and if I want to, I mean, since it's double jointed, I don't have to, like, bend it from here. I can just do this, and it'll be fine, it looks like. Yeah, it'll be fine if I just bend it like that, but then that's the thing, it's gonna look like he's missing a chunk of his leg, so... I don't know. I mean, I mostly just have him standing up, so I'm not too, too worried about it, but... Another nice thing that, that there is is his hands are like this, instead of like that. Like, his fingers are mushed together, because when it does that, it makes it harder to get the weapon in there, in his hand, so... Here's going over the weapon, so... Focus, camera! I'm being a bit shaky because this is the third video I've reviewed in a row, so. Mm, there's the side. There's the peg. And here's the other side, so. Yeah. Nice, and. Yeah, I mean, I like this figure. If you can get over his, um, the looseness of his head, it's not like super, super loose. It's not like flopping around everywhere, but like. It's not tight either. It's not like as tight as like Craig's head. So, so yeah. and, then, and then I'll just qu quickly go over the boss because it's pretty much the same as Craig. So let me just get that right. So here's the box. Uh, it's just the same. Uh, yeah, except different lettering right there. And then mm, same back. And then there's the UPC if you want to try and fight it. So. So there's the size comparison right there between Craig and him. You can see Craig is definitely bigger because that's how it is in the game. So, yeah. um, so now going over final thoughts, I definitely like this figure, and, and I'm glad I got it because these two were pretty much kind of hard to find. Chief is the one that's the hardest because I haven't seen Chief at all. But you don't have to worry about it. He is in. It's, the same figure is included in the two pack and in the Warthog, which I see more often when compared to the single card chief. But yeah, overall, 
these are really nice figures. Um, I absolutely recommend them. They're ten dollars each, so pretty much what you would pay for like a deluxe class transformer nowadays. And speaking of transformers, um, right now they're on sale. The one for Earthrise, they're on sale for like eighteen dollars. So if you want to go and get them, go get them. And then, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. We're only one away from 60, so thank you very much, and have a happy Halloween. Bye.